Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module. And in the previous videos, we created the function module. We called the function module inside this program using pattern button. Now we will understand the full flow of the program in the debugging mode that how we are passing the input to the function module, how we are returning the result and how we are getting the result from the function module and how we are displaying the output. So we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint on ninth number line. Before we will start with the debugging, you can see our function module starts on ninth number line. It ends on 14th number line. The calling part of the function module start on ninth number line. It ends on 14th number line. There is no dot in between. There is no dot. It means this whole will act as one line one line. Why we are discussing this? Because in the debugging, it, this understanding will play a vital role. This whole will act as one line. Now I am executing the program. I am doing or I am giving the input. Suppose first input is 20, second input is 10. I am executing the program. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Our first input is 20. Our second input is 10. And output variable is blank as of now. I am currently on ninth number line. Now, if I will do F6, whenever I will do F6, what F6 stands for? Line by line execution. So this whole will act as one line. And whenever I will do F6, control will directly come on to which number line? 16th number line. This function module will execute and we will get the result. Because the logic for sum of two numbers is inside this function module. Now, second part. Currently, you are in program. Currently, we are in program. In this program, we are calling this function module. Now, we are in program. We want to go inside this function module. In the debugging mode, you want to go inside this function module. In that case, F6 will not work because if you will do F6, this function module will execute and control will come on to 16th number line. But you want to go inside this function module. You want to check how the function module is returning the output, how the logic of function module is executing. So in that case, F6 key will not work. In that case, F5 key will work. Because what is F5? F5 is step-by-step -step execution. In the debugging playlist, I fully, fully explained this part that in which scenario F6, F5, and F6 key behave differently. But currently, if you don't know debugging, no problem. If from this program, we want to go inside this function module. So you have to do F5 key because what is F5? F5 is step by step execution. If you do not want to go inside the function module, you simply want to execute the function module. You can do F6, no problem at all. Suppose I will do F5 and I will show you how we are going inside the function module. So first input will go to P input one of the function module. Second input will go to P input two of the function module. Currently, these are exporting. These are treating as exporting. 
from the program we are exporting it means whenever the control will go inside the function module it will treat as importing now i am doing f5 you can see i am inside the function module function module and this is the logic which we have written in the function module what is p input 1 it is first input parameter first import parameter this is your second import parameter from the program we exported now it treated as imported importing in our function module so 20 plus 10 30 and result is assigning to what p output so p output is 30 what is p output it is a export parameter of the function module it is export in the function module it means in the program it will treat as import now if i will do f6 now you can see i am inside the program p output gave the result to what lv underscore output and you can see lv underscore output is what 30 now we are displaying lv underscore output this is the lv underscore output suppose rather than f5 if i will do f6 so that you can understand that now i am on ninth number line this is first input second input and this is the output parameter now you do not want to go inside the function module so if you will do f6 this function module will execute because f6 is line by line execution now i am doing f6 have you seen i have not gone inside the function module this function module executed and we got the output simply what is lv underscore output it is 30 now we call this function module sum of two numbers function module inside this program just think if we have a another program where we require the sum of two numbers is there any need to write the logic again no in another program also you can call same to same function module through which button pattern button when we started the topic modularization technique i told you modularization techniques are reusable one time we created the function module whenever we require sum of two numbers we will always always call this function module through which button pattern button just think how much hidden density of the code is reducing we are not going for redundant code now we are not going for duplicate code now because every time we are calling this function module whenever we require sum of two numbers so what is the summary of the video in this video we understood the full flow in the debugging mode how values are exporting to the function module how we are getting the result from the program if you want to go inside the function module do f5 key because what is f5 f5 is step by step execution now in the next video we will go for the exception part we will discuss the exception part of the function module so that's it in this video thank you